And why is he being arrested? Well, um, this morning, I saw a bunch of lumpen elements sponsored by the government, by the state security service, to demonstrate in the premises of the court against Mrs. Shore and Bakari. From that moment, I did some investigation and I got information while I was in the court that a new charge was going to be filed and that the Director General of the State Security Service had ordered that Mr. Shore be abducted in the premises of the court. And that is what is already going on. You will recall that I did inform the court that the order was obeyed yesterday and that there are new moves to file a new charge. The prosecutor or the prosecution team said in the open court that no such information was available to them. But here we are now. The court is being prevented from carrying out its normal duty because there was a move to forcefully take them away from the court. As uh, officers of the court, we are going to take appropriate steps. As a matter of fact, we have a sister case in court number five where we are also challenging the legal detention for our clients by the state security service. But I can assure you, what, happen, or what is happening now will not go away unchallenged. We either around this country on the platform of the rule of law or we resort to gangsterism, which is what is going on. Exactly. But we're not going to allow it because we fought against military dictators, including General Muhammad Buhari, and defeated all of them. Yeah, of all. Sure. So, so you're telling Nigeria. Under a democratically elected government, we are not going to allow anybody, no matter how highly placed, to put the rule of law or to treat the rule of law with disdain. Having complied with the order of court, right? What is therefore required? Is for the state security service to allow our clients to enjoy their limited freedom. Limited. Because both of them have been restricted to Abuja and Oshobo respectively. So there is no basis for this fascist approach. Please.